Hi everyone, today welcome to another tutorial. Today it's going to be on how to make a resource pack. So this is going to be a multiple part series on all the different things that you can do with resource packs. I'm currently in Cube Magnet's resource pack testing world. Um, pretty awesome world. And yes, so first thing that you want to go and do is you want to head over to this website to download paint.net. It's a photo editing software. It's completely free to download. And it's really, really good. Next thing, the model creator. This is how we're going to make models. We won't be using this today, but we will be using in the future. Next, WinRAR. You want to download the correct version for your computer. And this is just to open up, like, it's like just zip files and that lot. But make sure that when you install it, to check the .jar file extension. Now here's QManic test map right here go download that and we're going to be using this unicode character table soon once you've got these downloaded and installed you want to press start type in percent app data percent go to roaming which you'll see dot and craft and you want to go over to versions and you should see 1.10 you want to go onto that and right click on it and if you set that it can click open with winrar so once inside, you want to select this assets folder and press Control C. Now what I'm going to do is go over to uh, resource packs and I'm just going to create this resource pack here and I'm going to call it um, tutorial resource pack. So in here we want to paste this assets folder. If you copied it, it's just copying it here. So I want to wait for it to finish doing that and then here you want to press control V or right click and paste and I'll paste the assets folder next we'll just go right click and you can actually just do it with notepad so press just search notepad and in here we can go copy this pack to MC Meta and paste this and this is basically what defines what our pack is so I'm going to call it CJ Minecraft tutorial resource pack sweet and we can actually do colors and unicode characters in this so the character that we're going to need is the sector I believe no section section sign this one we're going to be using this and this if you appear it's this a7 now we use this to define colors so if we just go over to the formatting codes so here we've got the section signs here which define like how the colors work and we can also do some cool fancy stuff with text like so so I'm gonna have a red my name's going to be red, so this it, it now the, for Unicode it's backslash u00 and then a7 if you want a color, and it's going to be c for red for that bit, and then it's backslash u00 a7, and then it's going to be the aqua, which is b. And say we want this bold as well, so it's backslash U00A7. Bold is L. And we can just save this. Let's save this over to uh, where we're going to save it. And then in here, we want to just change it to all files. And we're going to call it pack.mcmeta. And press save. And there we go. So... In here, we've now got our pack at MC Meta. Now that we actually can have an image for our pack, so I'll just open up Paint.net, which you should have installed. And this is actually really cool. Now, the sizes that you can have for this is only 128 by 128 for this logo image. And I forgot to mention in pack.mcmeta, I'm just going to open this in Notepad. This is the default one for this. 
for me for that kind of file. And uh, you can actually change the pack format. And changes the pack format just changes different stuff. I think pack format 1 is um, for 1.8 and pack format 2 is 1.9, 1.10 and above. So here let's go get us a logo done. So it's going to be control shift R by the way to resize. So control shift R and 128 by 128. Turn off maintain aspect ratio to do that. And then zoom in and come up with a really awesome logo. And there you go, that's my logo, and then you want to just save this over to where you're going to save it. And you want to save this as pack.png. And now we can actually head over to Minecraft, go to resource packs, and it should be on the bottom or near there, tutorial resource pack, CJ Minecraft tutorial resource pack, and see that it's bold, and you can select this and press done. Now we won't see any change at all right now because of the way it is. Because we haven't changed any textures, is quite frankly why. And yes, it will more than likely stop responding because I'm recording. And also, you're loading up all the Minecraft textures again. Even though nothing's changed, you're still loading them all up again. So, you just want to wait for that. And there we go. It's loaded up our resource pack. Now, nothing would have changed. And um, if I just go into here, this is where you spawn in here, looking at this. And if you just select this block sampler, this brings up all the blocks in the game. If you just click this button, sets up a nice little preview. So, um, yep. So let's actually start changing some stuff. Now if you go to Assets, Minecraft, and we're going to go through each one of these, like one by one. So textures, now let's go to blocks. This is where every single block in the game's texture is. So let's have a look at changing, I don't know, the slime texture. And then let's make it a bit more high resolution. Now. This is a 16 by 16, as it says in the bottom right, 16 by 16. We can go up to, uh, I think it's 512 by 512, but it has to be like 16 by 16, 32 by 32, 64 by 64, 128 by 128, 256 by 256, and 512 by 512. I'm just going to do 32 by 32. Now, the bigger it is, the longer it will take to load up and harder it is on your computer. So all I'm going to do is select this and press M. Going to make it full size. And nearest neighbor. That's a bit higher quality. And what I'm going to do is just select that. And there we go. So you just want to save that. Now, say you only want certain stuff to change. You delete everything or other things that you want to change. Now, if we go back into the game and we press F3T, they'll reload all the textures. You know, see that slime blocks are on the bottom right by the TNT right here. So we're going to be looking at this. And as you can see, go out of F1, as you can see, it looks identical to what we just did. Pretty cool. So you can actually now sort of set up a resource pack. Now if you wanted to compact this, all you need to do is go over to resource packs, go right click, new, WinRAR zip archive, and then just call it, I'm going to call it test resource pack. And then just select this, control C, and in here, just control V, and it will compress it for you. And now if you go to options, resource packs, take off this one, and just press done for now. We'll probably freeze again. But we've got a 
compacted, that, which means that it will load faster on the computer. So resource packs, we should have two. This one is a dot .zip, so this is a compacted. And let's, ju let's just compare the time it takes for us to load up the resource pack. There you go, loaded up, and it's exactly the same. So we see that it works, and it's a lot faster to do it that way. That's how I recommend to do it. So, yep. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys can use this tool. Just be able to change textures. Now, before we finish, you can actually, if I just go back to the resource pack, you can actually change. If you go down here, change all of these blocks to whatever you want. Uh, color maps, if you really want to, try messing around with that. Effects. If you want to, entities, you can change the way entities look and everything. Um, basically, you can change anything that's been textured. So, yeah. Have fun messing around with that. Use this map. And, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you'd like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next tutorial. I am out.